what I'm going to do in this video is just go through how to pull the Liz Pendens records from the Laredo software, which is actually the software that the County of Champaign uses for the recorder's office. Um, there we go. So anyway, just from beginning to end, I'll show you how to pull the, the Liz Pendens records and then how I want you to record them in Google Docs and then um, I'll have separate instructions as far as how I want you to compose the mailing campaign but I will supply you with everything so in some counties Laredo will give you the remote access to the county county uh, recorder's office so this is actually this is the main screen that you see if um, just as if you were at the actual recorder's office and as far as searching for the Liz Pendens records you'll basically use this this box here in the lower left hand corner just for this example we'll just go for the uh, the records that have been recorded for the last seven days so we'll go from the 11th to today and under search group what we want is Liz Pendens I believe that's Greek for litigation pending and so that's all the search criteria we need and we click on the find button and then we got all of our search results here so what you'll see here is there will be many defendants and many plaintiffs but sometimes they'll all be or they'll all have a common record in our document number so what I like to do is just sort by the recorded and pretty much just look for the names of individuals here on the left so with this record we see once you click to expand it we see Larry Benedict said, um, Larry Benedict is involved this is probably his wife Patricia condo association and looks like the bank and two other two other parties but anyway all we want is the image so we click on the image tab and then just click on page one that'll bring us up the image of the actual document that was recorded by the, the mortgage company most likely so we see that Larry and Patricia are involved here let's go to page two that's usually where the address is so we click on next there we go this is what we need so we see it's a condo at 1903 North Lincoln unit 304 in Urbana and it gives us the parcel number so what you would need to do from here is go to Google Docs and add to the spreadsheet. Here I've already done it just for the sake of time. So I added in this individual. This information here is what's given to us on the actual um, on the, the recorded document. As far as mailing address, what I had to do and what you'll have to do is go to the County Assessor's webpage and just search by the address or you can search by the parcel number sometimes it's easier just to search by the parcel number this is given on the on the uh, the actual image so from beginning to end this is what I do and this is what I recommend you, you'll you log in you'll do the list pendant search then you'll have that list of records you'll go through those records and instead of reading all of these while the time is ticking on this subscription for the remote access because it is charged per minute 
just print to PDF. And if you don't have a PDF printer, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll get you set up with one. That way, you can do it. You can basically just print out everything virtually, everything that you need, and then you'll have you'll be able to get offline and stop the timer on the uh, the fees, and then you'll have a PDF like like I have here. So now we can just take our time and look over this. You can read through all the stuff if you want. But basically all you need to do is look at the second page. Second page has got the tax parcel number and the address of the property. So we take that information and we cross-reference against the county assessor's website and we see here's the property address and Larry Benedict is out of California. So that is where I get the 2683 Pastoral Court, Corona, California. And that's it. Then I'll need you to put your your name here as Property Scout, and that's it. Um, that's pretty much it for pulling the records. It's pretty pretty simple. Simple stuff. And once you have an abundance of records there, not even that many for each batch. I'll then give you further instruction as far as how to use the foreclosure letter template and um, how I want those sent out to those people that um, are in risk of foreclosure. So that's all for this video. Any questions, comments, concerns, post it to the Facebook fan page and um, in the discussions area and that's it